Righto, so we've got a few we got a few rolls in and it was just being a bit naughty. So I've used a fair bit of tie wire. I think I've um, tied it up three times, but that's okay. That that happens in the beginning. And then what we've I'll tie this one off because it was being naughty too. And you really don't notice it, you know, once you add to the to the barbed wire ball, like add a fair bit of barb to the barbed wire ball, you really don't notice those little ties like that. So we've got a bit of a base happening here. And from here on, most of the time, if you can keep it fairly uniform, it'll it'll grab onto itself. So trying to keep only movements only minimal, so we're not on that same axis and we're not going round and round. See, I'm starting to go round and round, so I'll have to move it a little bit. So it doesn't look like I'm just going round the same spot. And then from here, it's starting to come together. But what you gotta have, just keep an eye out for, is just look through the ball. There's a big void here. There's a big void here. There's a big one here. So then from here, sort of roll the ball along your barb, how it's laid out. You're trying to fill in those big voids and trying to anticipate where those big voids are. So I'm gonna try and roll it out to this big void here. And there's another one here. Start to try not to roll it um, in the same spot all the time. And the more you the more you roll it up, the easier it gets because the more it's grabbing onto itself. Now it is it is a bit egg shaped, but that's okay because. Once it's made, you can just squish it so it's like a ball shape, as, you know, within reason. And just be aware that, you know, that just popped out a little bit, so just keep it tight if you can. So try and keep your barb tight. See on there, I'm dragging it. all the time so it's going round and round. Rolling it, keeping an eye out for those voids. So now from here, I think I'm going to try and change direction a little bit because it is starting to go round and round the same spot. So I'm going to tie it up here so I can change direction fairly quickly. there now so I can probably change direction fairly quickly. And I've got a big void here I'll try and fill. But from here this is where things start to go not too bad and you think oh here's turning out like a barbed wire ball. Except for that bit. See you often get little bits pop out like this and that's where your and this and that's where your um, tie wire comes in so I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time now um, just tying these up so they're not gonna pop out and I can probably tie a couple up together like so so I'll tie these up here There's that loop that popped out on your right as well.